Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to episode 51 of which automation car mod can jump the farthest on car jump arena. I'm going to try to be doing these monthly. I don't want to do them too frequently because, uh, you know, I want some variety in my automation car mods, but we are back. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. We're starting with a throwback here. The Automoro. Automora Model 2 1909 edition, and this thing is made out of pure brass. Uh, by the looks of it, what a classic, though. Look at the details on this, man. Is that a uh, look at the headlight? Are those headlights? Oh, those are headlights. What are these lights then? They're like turn signals where you got to light it with like an old uh, gas lighter or something? There's even like a side seat. That's not dangerous at all. Am I? Is that is that a seat? That's a seat. Could not catch me sitting there. Anyway, let's see how fast this is. I uh, don't think this is going to be the fastest vehicle we're going to be checking out today, but it might just be the coolest. Uh, I mean, just look at this thing, man. It's a work of art. Cars this old are, are all basically works of art. If it was made before the assembly line, it's pretty much made by hand. So there we go. 110 struggling to hit 110, to be honest. <laughs> and we kind of bounce off the top of the hill. And there goes all the fine craftsmanship as we tumble down the hill. So what do we make it to? <laughs> Wait, we can still drive. We can make it to the pool. A, a car over 110 years old made it to the pool. That is pretty darn good, uh, if you ask me. And now let's send it down one more time. Uh, because I want to see... I think just hitting the top of the hill is like 100... I, again, I really want to know what that seat's for, man. <laughs> that can't be legal, right? Uh, anyway, so there we go. We did make it over the first one. That is 100 right there. So I'd say we made it ugh, maybe 90, 89, uh, which is pretty good, man. Again, for a 100, over 100 year old vehicle, not bad at all. I'm surprised the engine didn't explode after we got over 15 miles an hour. So honestly, cannot complain. And by the way, guys, if you've been thinking into getting into PC gaming and a BMG drive, why don't you head over to Apex Gaming PCs and check out my Neological PCs? You already know this, but uh, we've been working together uh, to bring you three custom computers to play BMG drive and pretty much any game you want at the best specs possible. And if you do pick one up, make sure to use code Neil at checkout for 5% off as always. And thanks to Apex Gaming PCs for sponsoring this episode. Oh boy. <laughs> We're getting weird already. Uh, so if you can't tell, this is a drivable bean, which also comes uh, with a also comes with a red one. I mean, I don't think the I mean, I don't think the specs are too, too different, but uh, these things weigh three thousand six hundred pounds worth of bean. That's going to cause a lot of farts. Uh, mod developer, if you're watching this, a fart noise would be absolutely perfect for the exhaust note. Uh, for this thing. I know it's possible because that one guy made it never going to give you up uh, for that. So I think it's definitely possible to make this thing fart. Anyway, here we go. It's oh, actually flies pretty dang good through the air. We're going to make it almost 340, almost 350. The bean does deform, but we all oh, landed on all fours. Can we get to the pool? Yes, we can. And does the bean float? Not even a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, hey, the bean sinks to the bottom like a sack of potatoes or a sack of beans, I guess. I guess I should probably try the red one. I mean, maybe it's faster. I don't know. This is the we have it in sport bean uh, configuration. It's completely. OK, this one doesn't have any sound. Is this the electric version? No, there's an exhaust. Uh, OK, <laughs> this one should have the parts, right? Anyway, here we go. Oh my goodness, what a launch. <laughs> what a launch. I think we landed maybe a, maybe a little bit farther. I can't, couldn't really tell, uh, but nothing super noticeable. There we go. <laughs> oh, we're going to miss the pool with the red bean. How unfortunate. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, so this is the BR <laughs> BR40 class monster truck. Uh, we got some Thomas the Tank Engine action. So it's a train monster truck by the looks of it with a rocket by the looks of it on the back. <laughs> FAP 365 <laughs> classic. Oh, my goodness. What is this monstrosity? I kind of like it, though. 
Kind of like it, and it's fast. 180 miles an hour. And a perfect launch? Is the suspension... Oh, we're going to go face first. But we are going to land past the 500 mark. What? I am just a little bit flabbergasted. Uh, if I'm going to be completely honest. How's the face holding up? Do we have a face? Ugh. Not great. <laughs> oh, we got a first person. There's not much in here. There's the engine right there. Probably engines, if I'm being completely honest. This thing <laughs> has to have... I mean, we got a real engine, but there's like a jet engine in the back. What, what the hell is that? I don't know. But I do know that this thing is absolutely insane and insanely fast. And this is the first one of the day to get past the 500. Imagine if this is the only one to make it past the 500. Ooh. <laughs> And it just gets a banana every time. Oh, we we kissed the pool there, but uh, just a little bit too much momentum uh, to stick the landing. Not bad, though. All right, so this next vehicle is simply called the Cloud. Can you guess the gimmick with this one? Boom. Can you see it? It's floating. We got a floating car here. Look at the interior, man. You're quite literally in a uh, fishbowl. <laughs> How much would it cost to tint this entire thing? I don't know, uh, but a very futuristic. This is like a Back to the Future. It's been a. Uh, it's been retrofitted to uh, to fly. <laughs> I don't know. It's very. Wait, do we have Apple CarPlay on here, or is that Android Auto? I don't remember. I'm I'm used to Apple CarPlay, but it, it's one of those two. Anyway, predictably, this thing's pretty quick. 180 miles an hour. Oh, we should start probably start pulling up if this thing can fly. Or well, maybe it just floats. It doesn't fly, but uh, still. Well past the 400 mark, 440, about around there. And can we make it to the pool? Yes, we can. Does it float? The cloud does not float. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have any floaters yet today. Next up, we got an MX-5 Barbie girl. <laughs> I'm not saying that weird. That's literally a, that's literally Barbie girl. The Gambler 500. So this is a Gambler 500 submission. Uh, very topical. There is a Barbie movie coming up. I'm more of an Oppenheimer guy myself, but I'll probably be seeing both uh, in the theater on the same day. But yeah, let's see what this thing could do. Off to a roaring start. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's a, We got time to make up the speed. Oh, this thing is uh, interesting design, I must say. But we're getting up there 159 miles an hour, and we're going into a backflip. Oh, Jesus. And right around the 400 mark, there goes the roll cage. Immediately falls off, crushing us instantly. So it was not effective at all. <laughs> and we're dead. <laughs> sorry, sorry to say it. The Barbie girl did not save us from uh, the car jump arena. Do you guys recognize this thing? I know it might look a little bit plain, but uh, this is the super type one from Burnout, baby. What an absolute classic. And uh, so we're going to be doing exact, exactly what this thing was meant to be doing. Crashing it. What a beautiful car, man. What a throwback. A wave of nostalgia waves over me right now. But here we go. 170 miles an hour. Look at this thing fly <laughs> into a backflip. I'm used to crashing this thing into traffic. But we're going to make it to around 390 and land it perfectly. Oh, my goodness. And then just send it, I guess. Can we land in the... Okay, we went through somebody's bedroom window. <laughs> Who's the... Wait a second. I never thought about this. Who's the guy who lives on Car Jump Arena? Who lives right here? That would be absolutely insane. Places I want to live. Apartment number seven or house number seven in, in a BMG drive. <laughs> what does this say? Hmm. I'll have to... I'll have to... Uh... I'll have to translate this. I'll let you guys know, though, on screen somewhere like over here somewhere. Oh, what? What? The, uh, <laughs> so this uh, creature is simply called the D. Uh, very strange shapes we have here. <laughs> is it going to make us fly good? I, I don't know. Oh, what is the sound this thing is making? It doesn't like the turn either. We have the giant antenna as well. Oh my goodness gracious, this thing is uh, ugly. It's ugly. 190 miles an hour and we're going straight into a backflip again. <laughs> hey, we almost made it to the 400 mark though. And that back wing is very strong. 
Surprised it has not fallen off yet. How? I don't know. It, it kind of looks like a dart or something. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it, though. Did you see the back wing kind of pulling us up when we were backwards? Kind of cool, honestly. I like it. I like it. It's growing on me. All right, last up, we got another Gambler 500 submission. This is the Tempest, which is a Corvette. Uh, by the looks of it, it's, this thing has seen better days. Uh, definitely beat up. But let's see what it can do, baby. I have faith. What is on top of this thing? They don't seem to be strapped in. I'm surprised they're not flying off. We're not going to worry about it, though. This thing is very fast. 182 miles an hour. And are we going to do another backpack? Not this time. We are going to make it past the 450 mark and to be absolutely smashed. But still drivable. Uh oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, we almost bounced back into the water. Let's get it in there. Get you safe and sound in the Akarja Burrito Pool. There's no better place to be. And with that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Which Automation Car Mod Can Jump the Farthest on Car Jump Arena. If you guys enjoy this series, make sure to that like button down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. I upload tons of BMG content uh, every single day. You guys don't want to miss it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.